We've done it guys. The AI has taught itself how to play Flappy Bird. This is an amazing day for machine kind. If you guys want to see how we taught it how to play Flappy Bird, this is the perfect video for you. We're going to walk you through the process of training this thing to actually play Flappy Bird. Hi guys, Ash47 here and welcome back to AI with Ash47. In today's episode, I thought we'd just walk through some of the trial and error that went into actually making this AI. Specifically, we're going to be focusing on the inputs and outputs only. That is, trying to explain Flappy Bird to the AI and watching how it actually interprets the results. That's what we're going to be looking at today. Let's focus on the graphs on the right hand side and the numbers on the right hand side here. So just as an explanation of quickly what this means, if you see the three red circles down the bottom there, those represent the three inputs that I've mapped. And then the orange circle at the very top there, that represents the one output that it comes up with. So the one output is basically, should I be flapping or not? Now the three inputs, we'll cover those in a second. You can see sample inputs at the very top there. The third line there, it has three different numbers. Those are the three inputs I'm having. And then you can see the result directly after that. And then based on that result, we decide if we should be jumping or not. With this particular setup, I've gone for three different inputs. So the three inputs are the height on the screen of the current Flappy Bird. The next one is the distance to the pipe. And then the final one is the height of those pipes. So specifically the middle point of those pipes. Now the AI can return a result anywhere between negative one and one. So what I've decided to do is, if the AI gives us a value that's greater than or equal to 0.5, then we're gonna jump. Simple as that. Let's just sit and watch the AI for a little bit and we'll see what it learns. So we've just been watching it for a little bit there, and from what I can see, it's figured out that it needs to jump a little bit, but not too much, and not too little. So it actually stays kind of roughly in the middle of the screen, but it hasn't really been able to figure out that it actually needs to go up a little bit more and down a little bit more, depending on the height of the pipes. So it is actually struggling just a little bit here. So I think what we need to do is try and make this a little bit more simple for it to understand. So just looking at it, I don't really think there's any point in telling it how far away the next pipe is. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove that input completely and see how it goes. Okay guys, I went ahead and made those changes and I've just loaded off the simulation again. So we're back down to generation one once more and we're going to watch this some more. So, like I said earlier, we've dropped it down to two inputs. We've got the position of the flappy bird on the screen itself and then we've got the position of the height of the next pipe that's coming through. So let's see if we can figure something out based on those two inputs and let's just sit back, watch and see. Losing time, I'm fading fast I just wanna make it last Try to let go of the past I close my eyes, embrace the blast Sleepless nights and headaches stack Restlessness to hell and back What's my purpose, what do I grab? A slippery surface, a heart attack And sometimes you just gotta believe There's something that'll give you relief There's something that'll have what you need heard that in theory it could take a lot more generations to actually get perfect, but it doesn't seem to really be improving. So I feel like I've done something completely wrong. So I actually have a brand new idea. What if I just combine the two inputs for it? I'll just do those two numbers, one number take away the other number and see what happens. Those numbers are pretty related. I might as well just do the correlation for it and, and we'll see what happens. At the end of the day, the AI still has to figure out what to do with those numbers and what those numbers mean. And that's basically what we wanna see here. Can it figure out what to do with those numbers? No way! It looks like it's actually working straight off the bat right there. Generation 2 is actually going to do this. That is amazing. Now you guys saw there was a whole bunch of them that actually died off, but one of them is actually working. Let's just fast forward and watch for a little bit and make sure it is actually working as we expected. This is really exciting if it actually is. Now the big question is, did we actually cheat? So I'm actually really interested to actually answer this question for you guys. So I am going to run yet another simulation. This simulation, we're going to do the exact opposite inputs. So before we were doing the pipes take away the height of the flappy bird, let's do the height of the flappy bird take away the pipes. So this one's going to be completely inverted. And also, 
we've changed the way that the jumping actually works. So now we've basically said, if you have a number greater than or equal to zero, then it's actually gonna jump. It was actually a little bit different. We'll see if we can still get to the right answer. That's gonna be interesting. This is actually really, really exciting. We're about to see if machine learning is actually happening here or if it was all just a fluke. If this guy actually manages to get through, then we've basically confirmed that the machine learning is working. So sit back, relax, this is gonna be awesome. Okay guys, so it's not as optimized as it was before, but you can see it is actually doing it. It's going right near the very edge of the pipes, but the AI did actually solve this problem. It actually worked. So there we have it guys, the AI is actually working. That is really awesome. I'm really impressed by this, really, really cool. So as you can see, there is a bit of luck involved, but if you do let it sit there for enough generations, it will find the answer. So I think that's really awesome. Now guys, this is gonna be the end of the episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button. If you guys want to see more videos from us in the future, make sure to subscribe to our channel. And guys, if you enjoy these AI videos, make sure to leave a comment down below and let us know. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.